Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the Chaos Shaman, better known as Chaos, sometimes called Shaman, rarely ever called the, and you're watching Ark Survival Evolved Let's Play. Now, for you guys have not been keeping up with Twitch, this is my single player world that I just started one day for fun. I wanted to figure out how to set up a Twitch account, how to get going with it. So I thought, just for giggles, I'll start a single player world and see where it goes, you know, just to iron out all the bugs and whatnot. I've learned a few things, we'll talk about them later, but I enjoy the single player so much that I've kind of been stuck doing it. Everything's on super fast, high rates. Uh, let me, I, I got some cheaty commands, there you go. Hey, check out where I'm living. Doesn't this look cool and is noisy the entire time? So what I've done, I've built a ring right here, yeah, pretty cool, right? Yes. I'm using mods here uh, as well. I got Structures Plus definitely going. A few other things, but I definitely grabbed Stargates, and I think that looks amazing. The interior of this is going to be quite awesome. Um, I got a little to-do list. Can I? Oh, that might be a little bit better. Ooh, that's kind of sexy. Yay. So, so far, what you guys have missed out on. First off, I've done pretty much everything you see live on camera on the stream on the live stream so almost every every single tame all the resource gathering all the building pretty much all been done live uh so that was pretty fun being able to get people's comments and feedback i love how i've turned this into like a terrarium the courtyard of my base is going to be freaking awesome once it's done um Right now I have a to-do list. I'm trying to finish up my greenhouse. Uh, I need bugs and a gardener still yet. That's my my essentials. But in order to get the gardener, I'm going to have to... Uh, let's see. Well, no. I got that going. Uh, the bugs. I'm going to need bug repellent. And in order to get bug repellent, I've got to work on some other stuff. So that's kind of the bottleneck on that. There's no reason to get the gardener before the bugs. Uh, oil. Uh, since we're now getting to the point where we're using gasoline to power things, oil is going to be a, a concern. So we need to start stockpiling that and converting that to gas. Uh, I've went ahead and got scuba gear ready for an ocean trip. And I've gotten cold weather gear ready for um, going up north. Uh, so And the vaults are for the next section of the base, which will be in this module here. Um, that's the taming pan. I'll show you that in a second. But um, I've got it all broken up based on this rounded design of modules, and you know, like I wanted there to be a gap. I wanted there, I wanted there to be a distinct difference between each one. I didn't want a giant round donut-shaped base. So uh, this is the module here. I've got it rigged up to where from the outside you can't see in, but inside you can't see out, which I don't think is really going to matter in the long run because uh, the sides of the buildings, like that's a good. For instance, sides of buildings, you're not you're not gonna be able to see anyhow. But the middle, the courtyard is gonna be amazing with this giant laser beam shooting up from the middle. And I've already got some Eco's trees. Uh, Eco uh, is a mod maker. He's pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, yeah, Eco's mod. He he does um, a lot of visual role play, sort of like set design sort of stuff. Stables, uh, aberration, uh, trees. It's it's all visual visual stuff. Um, if you're not familiar with them. This is my uh, garden kitchen house. Allow me to explain. I'm trying to make everything highly efficient for one person. So we come in. First off, we have a grill here and a generator. As you can see, the generator is not currently on because that's all the gas I have. And I have, you know, I, I don't have anything in this room really so far. I haven't really converted over from my starter shack yet. I'm still living out of that. But I've got beer barrels going right here. They're all piped in. Um, already making beer. Just leaving that in there. Letting, letting them do their thing. Uh, I've also got six preserving bins here. So that way after I get cooked meat, I can put them in here with the oil. Again, we need oil. Uh, make jerky. So I figured three for raw meat and then three for raw meat. Three for regular meat and then three for prime meat. I've also got eight refrigerators rigged up around the room. Uh, 
Structures Plus is really good about hiding wires and whatnot. Like that right there, you can barely even tell that's there. But yeah, you don't see any of the, the yellow wire sticking out or anything. But I figured this is good enough to, uh, you know, different potions that we want, uh, different kibbles. You know, eight's a good crazy number. Got an industrial cooker uh, stuffed over here. Again, something that needs gasoline. Uh, but it, it uh, it's already plumbed in as well. Um, I've got... This guy in the middle of the room, so if I come in and fly in with my Quetzal or my RG, I can land on here, like it's a landing pad, and just pretty much walk over and unload prime meat back and forth, just like that. Oh, dizzy. Ooh. Um, so that's, you know, highly efficient design to where you fly in, you immediately cook your food, and then immediately preserve it. Or if you want to keep it... Um, Unjerkified. Is that even a word? Unjerkified? Sure, we'll go with it. Uh, you can just put it in the refrigerators. Uh, now for the vegetables you need, look above. Uh, I might have went overboard with the glass and the water. I'm probably destroying my frame rates, but whatever. It looks awesome. Come up here. Uh, we've got this. Hello, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for contributing to the tribe. So, um, right now I've only got one row of crops running at the moment. Uh, keep in mind that everything on the server is ramped up. Harvest, harvest speeds, crop growth, baby maturation. Maturation. I didn't say maturation. Maturation. That is fantastic. We are heightened of vocabulary today. Um... Baby growth speed. <laughs> Harvest rates, taming speeds, everything is jacked up on this server. Just because I'm doing it by myself, and to be honest with you, I don't want to spend eight hours a day just gathering rocks. I can get a lot more done in eight hours if, like, you give me eight times the amount of rocks. You know, like, I don't mind doing a little bit of grinding, but I just don't have the time to invest in it anymore. That's kind of uh, a reason why the videos and everything have had a slowdown, that uh, I've switched jobs. I now work for the largest independent craft brewery in North Carolina. Um, so that's pretty cool. I've worked my way up in my career. Uh, but because of that, my hours have changed, and four days a week are just flat out impossible for me to record. I work long shifts, and they're on third. So I can't come home like, if I get home at 3.30 in the morning, which is a weird third shift, I know. But if I get home at 3.30 in the morning, I can't just come and turn on the computer and start talking to myself and record a video because everybody else in the house is asleep. I would wake everybody up, you know, so I have to sit quietly, <laughs> read a book, put headphones on, whatever, if I want to stay up. But I, I can't sit here and talk out loud. People are going to wake up in the middle of the night and be like, who are you talking to? And I'll be like, I'm just talking to myself. And they're like, stop it! And I'm like, okay. So whenever they wake up, I, I need to do something other than walk in circles. Uh, so, this looks so badass. That's the entrance. That is so cool. That is so cool. Like, from the outside, you can't see in. And then you get this entrance. It's like a... Wow. And if all else fails, I mean... But that makes noise, too. But you can't jump through that. Um, yeah, so I, I have to wait until everybody else is woken up, and by that time, it's time for me to go to bed, and then by the time I wake up, it's time for me to go to work. So for four days a week, it's impossible for me to record. Uh, at least one day, I like to go spend time with my son, so that's a personal day. So that's like five days a week, I can't do it. The other two days, it's like, uh, gotta do laundry, gotta mow the yard, <laughs> you know, it's just hang out with some friends, try to have somewhat of a social life. It's just, I, I, I lack the free time I used to. Like, uh, like I've always said the, from the beginning, I am not a full-time YouTuber. I do this for fun. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, I don't know how to put it. Like, if I made a ton of money on YouTube, I, I would probably consider doing this more often, it, you know, but as it goes, uh, YouTube has changed their algorithm for a lot of stuff, and my my videos about a year ago stopped getting the views that they used to, and now they have slowly just dwindled to nothing, and it's just like, oh, well, okay. So, to, to spend 20 hours a week playing a video game and recording it and editing it, uploading it, creating thumbnails, writing out descriptions, 
uh, trying to coordinate times with other people in other time zones to do um, collaborations with. All of that stuff put together, I mean, to, to get paid like two bucks from YouTube, it's like, man, um, I'd write, why work my, why well, work myself to death to try to do it? Um, so we're going at a slow, steady pace. Kind of the reason why I wanted to start doing a Twitch was so I can work up donations. What what I really need is uh, new cooling in my computer. It's running really hot. Like if you listen in the background, that that hum, that's the sound of my fan just as as hard. That's that's what fans sound like, by the way. Um, it's working its butt off to try to keep my computer cool. I, I need new cooling. I need my computer needs an upgrade. It's been four years, and uh, to try to record videos and do everything in high res resolution, high definition graphics, and all that, I just can't do it. So as you can tell, I've, I've scaled the graphics down a little bit, uh, but my computer's still hurting. I'm just trying to think of different ways to get uh, more audience members, so that way we can all get, I mean, like, you know, like, I want to keep doing this, but I mean, like, I need a better computer to do it, and it sucks. So, uh, just going to have fun, do it at a leisurely pace. I've uh, been working on the single player world, like I said, I um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, without more talking talking, I'm just going to uh, cut out the introduction and we'll get to doing some playing. Alright, again, thank you guys. Just wanted to say thank you to everybody on Twitch. Thank you, uh, Jenny. Thank you, Bottle Genie. Uh, Squidman. Shadow Dragon. Uh, Rat, thank you for showing up. I mean, all these... Uh, they're, Michael, thank, I mean, like, all these people... I can't even remember all the names. I should have wrote them down. I'm a horrible YouTuber. I just... I just want to say thank you, and thank you, um, thank you for the support, thank you for supporting the channel, all the rest of you. Next time you see a live stream, come over, it's a lot of fun, we talk, we, talk, we chat, we cut jokes, uh, depending on who's there, we, man, if Jenny's there, she will keep you laughing the whole time, she, she keeps up with chat for me, she's, she's, she's fantastic, you'd love to hang out with her, Rat, he's a Shadow Dragon, knows so many little details about this game that he like educates me every time he's on he's a great person if you want to learn please guys come hang out uh we'll see you in the next live stream without further ado let's get on some single player whoop hey slick do me a favor hey first off let's get rid of the hud thank you i can see oh crap do me a favor you're not going anywhere you're just going to hang out here i'm on nakey Look at me Ooh, such a man Mm. I'm a hobbit, by the way. Like, if no one's noticed. I'm, I'm like... I'm not even as tall as a window. I did that on purpose. I also have really big hands and really big feet. And a big head like a hobbit. Peter Jackson style. Alright, put all this over there. Um, let's see. What was... Uh, where are we? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get... Uh, what's it called? Fur? Yes. I've already made all this stuff. Already collected the materials beforehand. Okay, sure. I need to start dyeing my clothes. We gotta get into that. Um, let's see, what are we doing? We got tranks. We got some tranks. Should we take more? I probably have more. Do we? I started to make dye and then stopped. Okay, whatever. Um, trank. Tranquilizers. Let's take about half that amount. Okay, so. Gary. Gary. My little friend. Ga you look so evil, Gary. With this. No, whatever button that was, please stop it. Thank you, Gary. Listen. Listen, Gary. I know you love your. Oh my god, that is so devious looking. Ugh, Gary. We're gonna, we gotta go up north. Do you need level before we go? You have one point. Do damage for me. Do damage, buddy. Gary, you're on passive. Oh, yeah. Not for long, Gary. Um, buttons. There are so many buttons in this game. Okay, um, behavior. 
Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. Neutral. If they hit me, you hit them back. Thank you. Stand up straight. How do we look? Like men. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so we're going up north because we're going to need pelt. Uh, I should have showed you this before I walked out of the house. We need pelt in order to make bug repellent. Uh, we've used all the pelt we have currently to uh, make what we're wearing. So I want to go up north. I want to scout out a location. Uh, let's take Lucky. Um, I want to scout out a location for a future base. I've, I've been on this map so many times before, and I've played the center for the longest time. Then I've played Scorched Earth. Then I've played uh, Aberration. No, Ragnarok, Aberration. Like, I, I played all these other maps. It's been a long time since I've been back to the island, and it feels like coming home. You know, it's like your roots where, where the game started. I, I know where almost everything spawns at on this map. I, I lived on this map. It's, it's probably one of the smallest maps. I just said map several times but um yeah and it's cool to come back and find that things have changed uh they've added new dinos uh areas are dangerous that used to be not and vice versa uh ruins explorer notes i mean it's the, the volcano looks crazy i haven't been to the volcano and i walked over there i was like holy crap so uh we're am i on oh it's just really bright I thought I was on... Ah! Okay, but no. Um, so this is a good area. This is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, this is a good area to set up and come fish, if you didn't know this. This is single player, so things might happen differently on single player than they do on servers. But, like, look at all these fish. So if you set yourself up a, a chair right there, you can just go to town. Just make sure it's safe. Kill off anything in the area, you know. But look at that. Amazing. Um, over here, it's about to get cold. Oh, but that's right, I'm wearing my items. Uh, but right here, if you look down the water, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen silica pearl nodes right there in one spot, just around this one little peninsula right here. This one spot right here has 13 of them. And keep in mind, I'm at like times 10 for crying out loud. So this is a good area, and that's a good spot. I'm thinking what would be cool is over there by the waterfall. Can I... Because I don't want to I don't want to mess these spawns up. I want this, this area to remain cool to where it keeps spawning. But I'm thinking over there at the waterfall where we crossed earlier. You know, this, um, that section... Am I even looking at the right place? Yeah, 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 yeah. I am. All that section over there that we looked at that has, like, the water coming off the mountain, and it's all gorgeous, and there's... I think over here we should build a settlement at some point to where it's it's safe. If we die, it's only, like, a 60-second run. Um, and that'll look cool, too. Um, so, now that we're here oil hello shark there should be nodes of oil and I harvested them before and I'm not sure they're growing back fast I've uh, I've got things ramped on the server but it doesn't look like things are growing back at the speed they should um, which is a little disheartening um, that looks dangerous as hell I ain't getting over there but here's an oil node that's good what is this? What is that thing? Is that a cat? Of some sort? What is this? What is that? That doesn't look like a saber tooth. What are you? What the hell is that thing? For real? Talk to me about it in the comments. I don't know what that thing is. It walks slow, which scares me a bit. It makes me feel like it'll pounce and hurt me. Knock me off this bird. Um, we're gonna... Uh, he's far enough away, I believe. But just to make sure, we're gonna get out of his eyesight. Just a hair. 
Our food and water okay? Are we living? Okay, good. Here, this is easier. We don't even, oh, four of them right here. See, now this is a good spot for a base as well. I was thinking up there. What do you think about up here? We got this wall. That looks cool, and it's got like a natural path. I believe, uh, who's the YouTube? Slipgator? Slipgator built a, uh, a base here one time. I like this natural path. Can I gun it? Like, right through here. And it comes down in... Oh, look! XP. Comes down here, and this is super flat through here. Uh, we could probably... Branch off walls, uh, gates, or something. Spiked walls, maybe, around there to protect things from falling in. We don't have to worry about anything attacking us from below because they can't climb a cliff. There's even another way out. Okay, cool. I, I like this. This might be a cool area. I don't think building here, like, those spawns that were right there, you see our render distance? Like, let me come back over here and they'll, they'll render back in. I don't know if that's far away enough to affect these or not. And that's what scares me, though. Because penguins spawn in this area. What is that thing? Like. Hello? Could you stop? What the hell is that? That's the scariest chicken I've ever seen. What the hell, my? Okay, let's get our stuff and get out of here. But, uh, yeah, this is good. Good for scouting locations. Um, that island right there, that iceberg's always really cool. There should be penguins. There's one. Right there. There's one. Uh, I don't really need organic polymer at the moment. If I need it, I know where to come. But right now, I'm I'm just wanting to work on the fuel situation. So, I'm going to gather up some of this and then head back home. Yeah, guys, uh, if you don't play single player a lot, uh, the spawns are much different than they are on multiplayer servers. Like, it's just... Hundreds and hundreds of things will pack spawn together like there's the March of the Penguins for crying out loud like for real like I mean right What are all these circles and look at all these effects now Colors and circles and that guy's they shooting out purple lightning and that guy's like got a force field that ugly chicken is getting eaten up. Who knows what's going on down here? Nuts. Okay, uh, I just... I was right over there a second ago. That's where I was, and I collected all that oil. I came over here. Uh, the lack of penguins is a little concerning, but uh, I saw this big fin, and I was over, I was over in this area here collecting uh, oil. We have uh, a right smart amount of it because we have incredibly fast rates. And I saw this fin sticking out of the water and I came over here and I, I thought it was a great, uh, great white, a, a megalodon. And then I noticed there's megalodons in the water. So, I mean, I was like, it's bigger than a mech. Where, where did it go? Whatever that thing was, it is called a lead, lead something. Yeah, there it is. Its name popped up a minute ago. I am not familiar with this thing. I, is this like the giant fish? Oh, here's a good spot to go to go swimming, to go fishing. A 108. I can't tame you. Why would I tame you? Tame me to kill you. I don't know where it went. Did it, can it swim through the hi Ooh, let's not do this anymore can it swim through the the wall did it go through the world or something are you out here are you under the water like what is that thing dude that's crazy i'm not gonna go commit suicide to find out 
But that's nuts. Nuts. I've missed playing on this map. Jeez, that's crazy. Maybe it'll come back. Did it despawn? Did it just go under the water? Because I know there's like a... There's like a channel or a pool or something. This would be a good spot for a, a base. This is really cool. Okay. Anyhow, moving on. That's nuts. On the way back, I just I just stopped to look. That little coral reef, there's a uh, parasaur who's just chilling out there. That's a brave little low-level parasaur doing his thing. That coral reef's pretty awesome. If, if that rock is buildable, we can put maybe a lighthouse on it just for fun. Um, this poor bird got into a fight. Um, that waterfall, gorgeous, gorgeous. That that leads off to like more cold weather stuff that way. Um, we're not. I forget what that rock's a dead rock. That battle rock. That's where all the crazies live. But I mean, we can go right over there to go fishing. If that yeah, fishing, fit fishing and get silica pearls. Um, we're not far off from the cold zone, so this would be a good halfway point. So I think this would be a fun little project. We make one actual small base here one day, and then just build a bunch of little houses and stuff around it for fun. But, you know, just a bed, uh, some campfires, that sort of stuff, preserving bins, just to keep us going in case we die. Uh, and then we need to start thinking about where to build over there, and I think that one spot we found is going to be a great area. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't really have much need for a lot of animals at this point, but I, I am trying to work on a kibble farm eventually, and I'm, I'm a pretty big believer in opportunistic taming. Um, for instance, I don't need that Fioma. I don't need that turtle um i don't need that parasaur right there that level 56 parasaur i don't need that who needs a level 50 fit i mean like I, i'm flying in the sky who needs a 56 parasaur you know but that level 116 parasaur on the other hand i need him don't ask me why opportunistic taming um i want to make a kibble farm I'm going to need parasaurs. And as dumb as it sounds, not you. As dumb as it sounds, um, ow. Uh, did I pick up the right one? Question mark. Hmm. Let's put you on the shore. Silly as it sounds, if you're going to have a kibble farm, they might as well be high level. You know? Like, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. And my thing is, like, I'm at, I'm at the stage now... Is your fat head going to be in my way if I try to look through the spyglass? I did not pick up the right one. And I'm at the stage now to where I can start concentrating on levels. Um, I want dinosaurs. Like, in the beginning, I take whatever I can get. But now I'm at the stage where I want everything to at least be a triple-digit number. So, um, even if this guy's just going to go to a kibble farm and that's all I'm ever going to use him for, like... I still want him to be a high level in case I need to breathe them or for whatever reason. Uh, you can't. You're a runner, so I can get into it. Hi, goodbye. Let's be friends. I am your friend now. Don't run from me. This is not what friends do. Are you? What was that about? Just take a nap. Super high time rates. Super high time rate. Just fall asleep. And down. There we go. 33. That ought to be enough. He isn't going to eat more than that, is he? No. Thank you for doing everything you're doing. Why are you pooping more? You need to poop more often. Poop more often. You have several boxes to fill. Come on. That's why we need the gardener. That's why we need the box. Speed all this process up. Hello, I'm back. Oh no, you're in here. That's right. I got this. Hi, how are you? You got some purple to you. 
Wow. I have no idea what to name you. You're kind of purple. Purple. Kind of black. And you're a boy. And a hundred percent taming effect does this? Yes. Your name is... Not Prime. Who the hell's Prime? Prince. Yeah. You're Prince. That's why we also tame Twix here. Twix was a level... Uh, 108, I think? Yeah. I think. I have not put any levels into Twix as of yet. 19. Uh, Twix is a girl. She looked caramel and chocolate to me, so she became Twix. I think we'll have a new naming day. I tamed this guy just for the sake of taming him, because he was nearby. I mean, why wouldn't you? He's a tech freak. I mean, he's a tech stego. Same with uh, this Rex over here. Um, I think he was like a level 8 or something. Maybe a level 12. He was super low level, but... I mean, why not? Oh, the good thing about Structures Plus, if you don't know this, see all this oil in here? Now, I could run back and forth making several trips, or using Structures Plus. Ooh, ooh, that was, that was a little framey. Using Structures Plus, come over here, click on any item, doesn't matter which one. Click this button right here, it looks like a cloud with a download symbol. You're pretty much downloading off the cloud. Uh, oil, right on. Lucky, Quetzal. All of this oil, all of the Quetzal's oil. Pull it. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Now, how much does it take to make gas? It's all almost equal amounts. All right, so let's go ahead and, with the rest of this, go ahead and fill up with hide. And we're going to take that from our hide chest, which is actually the chest right behind me. We're going to put all, but it won't, it won't take all of it. It'll only do it how much that will fit. See? That's good. And we have yielded an extra 50 now. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but keep in mind there's a lot cooking right now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who put you there? I did. Um, and we might... I don't know, man. That's 172. I don't think I have... I have nine. I mean, jeez, that's... That's a lot to keep these running, though. I mean, that will last a good long time. I think it's about time we crank it up. We might have to install lights in here later. There are no lights. Maybe S plus torches. Maybe. But is it time? Let's do it. Oh yeah, and the best part about S plus, we don't have to hear this generator running. Cords all lined up pretty well. You don't see them really. Right, I see a little bit of one right there, but I can deal with that. I mean, come on. There's not that weird invisible wire that's not invisible thing going on. I mean, she's a cooking. Let's start putting stuff in here. Okay, seconds, minutes, hours, days. That's over two. That's over two years. Holy crap. Okay, I will take two years. And on this side, let's go. Let's go ahead and get cookie and start putting our prime meat jerky in one, which was before 17 days and is now at half of a year from 17 days. We will take that all day long. And we're going to put this jerky in here. Which has fantastic. We don't have to worry about that ever again. Now I think the rest of it, should we go ahead and move all of it over there? Let's go ahead and move everything. I mean, come on. It's time. Every bit of it. Thank you. If you're not uh, familiar with Structures Plus, it also has a demolition gun that can do things like this. Instead of breaking all of these things, what I'm doing, if you look on the left side of the screen, I'm actually picking it up and putting it in my inventory. And put this back away, and then we'll just leave the bags. Give me that. Pretty cool stuff, right? I actually... Or you can switch modes. Let me hold the gun out again. See, it's in black mode right now. If I right click, it turns into red mode. This is demolished to where, like, you see, now it broke it. Whereas the other way picked it up. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Let's start up these preserving bins again. Yes! Okay. Hi. 
this side of the room we've already discussed is going to get cooked meat. So I have 170. So, uh. Well, half a. Let's see. That's 85 a piece. Math. Bangarang. We'll put this in here. No. Have at it for a while. There you go. On this side we're putting the primes. I can write chair. Chakasha. Chair here. Go to crafting. It's going to pop up. Look at that. And then using this one, I want to pull enough, pull enough resources to get one. See that light up? One. That's because of that guy. Structures plus, people. Structures plus. But Vocked. Chaos can't type. Can we do it? Let's already go do three. Are we getting experience for this? No, because we're at max level already. Pet you up. Yeah! Get in it. Yeah. Doing it. Doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Is that it? Did we craft all three? One, two, three. Bad ice. How much? How, what do we need for more? Because Vokt. Because the... I don't know. I can't type. Um, metal ingots. Easy. Easy. I have a metal base. Have I showed you the metal base? Maybe next time. I will show you the metal base. It's on the volcano. Metal respawns really slow. I didn't realize this. No matter what your rates are, metal still spawns slowly. Her. Her. Kind of sucks. Craft all. Craft all. Yes. 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 That's 500 right there. Come on now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. So, um, almost all of the base's gasoline storage, I believe, is going to be kept in this generator. So, bada bing. Put you in here. Bam, bam. Technological advancements for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you didn't enjoy this episode, you can leave a dislike. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, come back next episode. We're going to work on some more single player survival. I don't know why I'm holding down the button to talk because I don't have to because it's microphone. Just wanted to say thank you guys. Try to love each other, and if you can't love each other, love yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. See you. Bye.